Hello, I am Aparna and my topic is about support vector machine. So let's see what is support vector machine. So it is a process of finding a hyperplane in an n-dimensional space which classifies the data points is called support vector machine. Here if we observe in the figure the dotted green line it is classifying the data points. Support vector machines are also supervised learning models with associated learning algorithms that analyze data for classification and regression analysis. So let's see what are the characteristics of SVM that is support vector machine. Since the learning problem is formulated as a convex optimization problem, efficient algorithms are available to find the global minimum of the objective function. Overfitting is addressed by maximizing the margin of the Dacian boundary, but the user still needs to provide the type of kernel function and cost function. It is difficult to handle miss missing values in SVM and it is robust to noise and it requires high computational complexity for building this model. Hyperplane and n dimensional space. So, what is a hyperplane? Hyperplanes or Dacian boundaries to help classify the data points into classes. So what is the best possible hyperplane? Many possible hyperplanes could be chosen, but we need to find out the maximum margin so that future data points can be classified with more confidence. Here the dark line in the figure represents the best hyperplane and the light line represents not as good hyperplane. Then let's discuss about hyperplane in the n-dimensional space. Dimensions of the hyperplane it depends on many many features. So if the number of input features is two, hyperplane is just a line. If the number of input features is three, hyperplane is a 2D plane. Linear SVM. Linear SVM is the newest extremely fast machine learning algorithm for solving multi-class classification problems from ultra large data sets that implements an original proprietary version of a curtain plane algorithm for designing a linear support vector machine. It is linearly scalable routine meaning that it creates an SVM, SVM model in a CPU of time which scales linearly with the size of training data set. Here if we see in the figure the Dacian boundary it classifies the Dacian data set. The dark line represents the Dacian boundary which is classifying the Dacian data set. So let's discuss the features. So it's efficiency in dealing with extra large data sets. Solution of multi-class classification problems with any number of classes. Working with high dimensional data in both sparse and dense format. So there's no need for expensive computing resources as the processing time for SVM is linear. And it's ideal for contemporary applications in digital advertisement, e-commerce, proteomics, banking services, and many other areas. Learning a linear SVM model. So the training phase of SVM, it involves the estimating of parameters W and B of the Dacian boundary from the training data. So the parameters must be chosen in such a way that the two conditions are met. That is W dot XI plus B greater than or equal to 1 if XI equals to 1 w dot xi plus b less than equals to minus 1 if y i equals to minus 1. So these conditions impose the requirements that a, that form from class group 1 that is squares. As we see it is located on or above the hyperplane w dot xi into b. While the instances from class u that is circles must be located on or below the hyperplane w dot xi b minus 1. Also, the preceding conditions are also applicable to any linear classifiers. SVM imposes an additional requirement that margin of its Dacian boundary must be maximum. Maximizing the margin, however, is equivalent to minimizing the following objective function that is, f of w is equal to mod w square by 2. Thank you.